game number three. Rasa number three on your season two leaderboard here on the SCG Tour with Jeskai Control, a deck that he knows and loves against John Philip Whetstone playing Infect. Again, both these players 3-0, and but it looks like Rossum's in a pretty good position right now with the Teferi on the battlefield. Snapcaster Mage out there as well. Only at four Infect at this stage is the member of Team Lotus Box, while Whetstone appears to be fetching with his Wooded Foothills. He'll get himself an untapped Breeding Pool. Worth noting for Rossum, among those lands, there is an untapped copy of Field of Ruin that could blow up an Inkmoth Nexus or a Dryad Arbor as necessary. If John Philip Whetstone does have something like a Blossoming Defense or a Finds of the Vastwood, that'll trump that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it as he'll fire up an Ink Moth Nexus right now. It'll be an attack here. And a mutagenic growth. Rossum's not going to have any sort of response at this stage. Yep, not looking to pick any sort of fight there inside of combat. I think he'll do what most players have learned to do against Infect, and is to do it after combat is over. And there he will blow up a copy of Ink Moth Nexus with the Field of Ruin, or at least try to. Whetstone has a Vines of the Vastwood to counteract that Field of Ruin. So we're going to go back over to Jonathan Rossum now, who will draw a card with an active Teferi on the battlefield, a copy of a Braid in hand. John will draw a card. Spell Gets Kicked has been hit for me, Vines of the Vastwood. Thank you very much, Mr. Whetstone. Starting to fill out all areas of this bingo board now. As Rossum is going to now crack... A flooded strand, get himself a steam fence, enters the battlefield tapped, and Teferi will work on untapping that with that end of turn trigger as we head back over to JPW. What's not having to overcome a Jeskai player who has six mana untapped? A Teferi that's active and quite a few cards in hand. This is tough for Infect. And it's hard to imagine that Whetstone's going to be able to get it done with three natural attacks. It's just asking too much against Rossum drawing two cards a turn. So he's got to try to set up some spot where he can play over the top of interaction in one turn. That's also going to be really hard to do. Rossum, you see, set aside that Celestial Colonnade. That's something he's, that he has access to at this stage of things right now. Teferi's going to draw a card. And the walls are starting to cave in here on John Philip Whetstone because the longer you wait, that's the closer Rossum gets to the Teferi Emblem. But that's also more cards that he's seeing as well. That's more answers that he'll be able to find. And then it'll make it so that whatever John Philip Whetstone draws is completely irrelevant. You can even block with the Colonnade. Yeah. So it's all going poorly here for Whetstone unless he finds something and finds it quickly. And for me, if I'm John Philip Whetstone, I just have to, in a way, I feel like I just have to throw these Ink Moths into combat because the longer I wait, the, the, the worse it gets for me. Yeah, I mean, the door starts shutting once that emblem happens. Then, then all your cards are getting exiled and it doesn't really matter what you have. Yeah. Rossum will draw another card. Picked up a copy of Teferi, but he has an Electrolyze in hand. He'll play a Mountain. And those are the lands he'll untap with its fairy. It looks like that trigger will be on the stack. So Rossum feeling pretty good about things right now, which makes total sense. I would be two if I were Jonathan Rossum. And now we'll go back to John Philip Whetstone. He's going to be staring down at the fairy emblem next turn unless he does something on this turn. But with Rossum, who's got all that mana untapped, and it looks like six or so cards in hand, one of it's an Electrolyzer, there's an Abraid over there. There's also a Path to Exile. A lot, a lot of cheap interaction lined yep. up here. Yep. It's a lot for an Infect player to overcome.
Rossum will draw. He'll cash into Ferry. It's not getting any better here for John Philip Whetstone now. Rossum does have another copy of the Ferry in hand, as I mentioned. He's thinking about playing it right now. Yeah, I mean, it might just be better to wait for Whetstone to take any game action you could respond to and then just leverage the emblem. Keep in mind now, the Electrolyze is the kind of card that can kill multiple creatures and exile a permanent. We saw Brad Nelson do that earlier in the day. He's also playing Jeskai Control here in Baltimore. I mean, if Whetstone doesn't cooperate and just says go again, I think Rossum will just start cycling some of these cards. Yeah, me too. Just a, you, one and one, you in the Arbor with an Electrolyze and get rid of one of the Nexuses and just, just close out all of Whetstone's resources. Yep. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it better be. <laughs> it's, it's not getting any better. Time to dial them up. Yeah. I like attacking just with a dry herber. Let them know. <laughs> just want to snoop around. Yeah, just I, I'm trying to just figure out what you got going yeah. on over there. All right. Nexuses have been fired up. I expect this to go well. I do not believe you. <laughs> it's going to take, I don't even know what it's going to take here from John Philip Whetstone with only two cards in hand. But you know what? It's time to find out. If I was Jonathan Rossum, I'd be feeling pretty good about things. Looks like he's going to start with the Path to Exile. Then I'll go after one Nexus. We'll see how John Philip Whetstone wants to respond. All right, pass from resolving. Whetstone may be searching. Doesn't look like he is. All right. Only two forests, I think. Next up. Is Path Exile. Looks like this is where we'll fight a little bit. Dispel. We'll go after that. I mean, just let this go. It's not even lethal, right? And you can electrolyze if you're feeling it. He'll go with a braid. I think electrolyze is the real prize. So he's going to wait until it's all. It's got to be the last one to play, right? Yeah. You know it's going to resolve then, then you just get to get it all. Now he goes for the win with the Might of Old Crozier. And we are done. Electrolyze these, exile something after you draw a card. And it puts a close in the game. Jonathan Rossum's going to win this game. Match over John Philip Whetstone. Two games to one. Jeskai Control going to take care of Infect. It's a very difficult matchup there for you Infect players. And Rossum is an expert at navigating Jeskai Control. Big win there.